It is very fascinating to know that all activities of an organism are controlled by a single chemical residing in the nucleus of every cell. Can you guess what is it? Yes. DNA, deoxyribonucleic acid, is the master chemical present in the nucleus and controls the activities of the cell and, thereby, the organism. It is the genetic material that is present in most organisms. Let us learn about DNA discovery and its structure. The DNA saga began in 1869 when Swiss biochemist Friedrich Miescher discovered a novel material from the nucleus of white blood cells. Later, Rosalind Franklin made X-ray crystallography studies on DNA. Based on the studies of Rosalind Franklin, in 1962, James Watson and Francis Crick discovered the structure of the double helical structure of DNA and won the Nobel Prize. Let us now discuss the Watson and Crick model of DNA. Structurally, DNA is a double helical polymer, composed of two strands, where each strand is nothing but a polynucleotide chain. Is the nucleotide a single component? If so, what is it made up of? A nucleotide is a combination of three components, phosphate, deoxyribose sugar, and a nitrogenous base. To talk about each component, the phosphate is present in the form of PO43-, which is involved in forming phosphodiester bonds. From the name, can you guess the sugar present in DNA? The sugar present in DNA is deoxyribose sugar, a pentose sugar comprising five carbons. Talking about nitrogenous bases, there are two types, namely, purines and pyrimidines. Purines include adenine and guanine, whereas, pyrimidines include thymine, cytosine, and uracil. Uracil replaces thymine in RNA. Initially, the nitrogenous base and the sugar combine to form a nucleoside, and a phosphate adds up to the nucleoside to form a nucleotide. These nucleotides join to form a DNA strand. The sugars and phosphates form the backbone of the DNA, wherein the consecutive nucleotides are linked by phosphodiester bonds, while the sugar and the nitrogenous base of a nucleotide are linked with an N-glycosidic bond. The pairing of nitrogenous bases of the opposite strands can be explained with the help of Chargaff's rule. How are purines and pyrimidines held at a position on the DNA strand? According to Chargaff's rule, adenine on one strand pairs with thymine on another strand with two hydrogen bonds, whereas, the guanine on one strand pairs with cytosine on another strand with three hydrogen bonds. How many types of bonds are seen in DNA double helical structure? Phosphodiester bonds, glycosidic bonds, and hydrogen bonds are the three types of bonds present in the DNA structure. As you travel around the DNA helix, the two strands are coiled in a right-handed fashion. The helix has two grooves, the major groove and the minor groove. Internally, there are 10 base pairs per turn of the helix, and each turn is a length of 3.4 nanometers. The internucleotide distance, that is, the distance between two successive nucleotides is 0.34 nanometers. It is also important to note that the DNA strands exhibit polarity, where the two strands run opposite to each other, in which one strand runs from 5' end to 3' end, and the other strand runs from 3' end to 5' end. These are structural details of Watson Crick model of DNA. Before concluding, let us also see the types of DNA. DNA helix can form three different types of structures namely, A-DNA, B-DNA, and Z-DNA. Of these, A-DNA and B-DNA are right-handed helices, and Z-DNA is a left-handed helix. These are the details on DNA discovery and structure.